It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, trying to get to know people as as much as I can, as quick as I can. Um, but it's been great. You know, just putting putting faces to names and, and you know, kind of learning more about the people more than just the baseball players that they, that I've watched on TV or anything. So. Uh, the first week's been a lot of fun. Okay, very cool. Your thoughts coming into this personnel group, uh, what's your optimism? Is this a playoff team, a 500 team? Your thoughts about what this team can do? I know you haven't looked on the pitch yet, but your thoughts about it. I mean, I think if you look at our roster, there's no reason why we shouldn't be in the playoffs. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of has to go into that. You have to stay healthy and, and build off of, you know, good at bats, good innings, good you know, good defensive plays. Um, a lot of it goes, a lot of baseball stuff goes into making a playoff team. But um, I think on paper, for sure, with the roster we have, we should be in the playoffs. Okay. Your impressions of uh, Jace Tingler as a manager, and I know it's been a short. To what I was going to get impressions of him, but your your first impressions of, of the manager. Yeah, I mean, un unfortunately for me, I I've bounced around a few a little bit, so I've gotten to play for a number of different managers, and uh, Ting's been awesome. Uh, you know, you can see him moving around the locker room, trying to build relationships pretty quickly. Uh, tons of energy, brings energy every day. Um, you know, it seems like he's going to be a fun guy to play for. Okay. Final topic: uh, pace of play. Uh, new rule this year has pitchers facing at least three guys when they come out. Is that a good rule? Bad rule? Your thoughts about that particular rule? I mean, I think it's too early to say if it's a good or a bad rule. Um, you know, as, as a traditional baseball fan, I'm, I'm not crazy about it, um, just because it's changing the game from the game that I saw growing up. You know, um, but it's, I think you know it's too early to, to pass judgment on if it's a bad rule or not. Who knows? It could be great for the game, um, but for me, it's just it, it's changing something that I fell in love with. So, uh, you know, the thought of it, I'm not crazy about it, but you know, in time, maybe I love it. So, who knows? Okay. I'm of the opinion that a better way to speed up pace of play is to remove the warm-up pitches once the pitch is gotten out of the field of play. You know, do those seven pitches in the bullpen. Uh, does that uh, have any credence to that idea? Would it speed up pace of play? Or, is, or are those seven pitches very important to a pitcher coming out on the on the game mound as opposed to the bullpen? Um, I think maybe in certain situations that could work. Um, you know, there's times where, you know, things happen really quickly. Uh, in the game, and you got You kind of got to get ready faster in the bullpen, and you know we should be moving around anyway. But you know may, maybe you only get three or four throws in the bullpen, or three or four pitches. Okay. Um, and where you, if you have those seven on the mound, then you're good enough to come in the game, and you'll have you know by then you'll have eight or ten pitches. But uh, there's there's also situations where you have plenty of time to get ready, and you don't really need the seven or eight out on there. So I think it'd be hard to, to just say you know eliminate them completely. But I think there's there's possibly some openings to where you could do that. Um, I think it'd be really hard to try and implement, though, across the board for every appearance. Okay. Final question, topic, your thoughts about the depth of this bullpen and how excited are you about the depth of it? And are there enough innings to go around for all you guys? I mean, I don't think we should worry about the innings. I mean, as long as we're winning games, that's all that matters. Um, on paper, obviously, this bullpen is, is special. I mean, there's, there's probably 15 names deep that can, that can compete at the big league level right now. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to bring out the best in guys. You know, we got to be ready to compete each and every day because there's somebody who's hungry to, to be in our position. So, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun to, to compete with these guys and hopefully we can stay healthy and do our job.